Oh, hello! It's me, Tori, back again with another video after, what, a year? Oh, shit. Okay, well, we're doing a look inspired by Melancholy Dollies. So, this is really exciting. It's my first look featuring Scalera lenses, and I've always wanted to use these, but I have been terrified. So, I just bought them and shoved them in my eyeballs, and guess what? Wasn't as bad as I was expecting. So, for the primer we're using, we're using Urban Decay optical illusion primer and I have had this sample for like three months and I still haven't run out shocker I love it so much a little goes a long way and it's great under any type of foundation and today I'm using a white foundation now I'm using uh, LA girl and dream tones by manic panic I'm also using Kat Von D unfortunately I'm still looking to replace this concealer this whiteout concealer because I do not want to have Cavon D products anymore but until then I'm just gonna use it all up until it's ran out anywho so we're just blending this shit in I look like a beautiful little monster look at this Ugh, unibrow and all here we go so yes monster looks you know if you uh, see in the top left corner here speaking of spooky things you know there's going to be an appearance. Do I see a little tail? A little pair of ears? Oh, there it is. Oh my. Mios Dio. This is how talented my cats are, y'all. Look, watch this now. Hang on. Any minute now. Any minute now. Wait for it. I'm really bad at timing. There it is. My cats are so talented. This is why I can't do anything nice, y'all. I can't even do videos. And uh, here is me um, thinking my house was haunted for 0.2 seconds, and then I remembered my cats not open the doors, and I still forget. So anyway, after I blend out my white foundation, I set it with an Urban Decay setting powder. I'm using all Morphe brushes because they're fabulous, and I like to set my white foundation with a white eyeshadow. And I, you can tell I've used a lot of the Talco uh, white from Sugar Pill. That stuff is awesome. And so we're just kind of patting it on there, kind of patting it into my pores and everything. So my skin feels awesome, obviously. And uh, I'm going to be real with you guys. I've been doing a lot of exfoliating, a lot of, uh, you know, journeying with my skincare conditioning and everything and I finally got it to a place where I feel finally comfortable to actually wear makeup again but anywho I digress it's a long fucking journal journey for skincare I digress so we're going in with our neon makeup we're using again there's a lot of urban decay in this outfit if you also paid attention you would have noticed I held up my sugar pill palette I think and then also a Laura Lee palette which Fun fact, I didn't know anything about that drama with Laura Lee. I saw a neon palette on eBay for $5, and I was like, oh, dang, hell yeah, and bought it. And then all of this shit happened with Laura Lee being posted everywhere, and I was like, ah, crap. So, hate to have something by someone who's so fucking problematic, but, but it was $5, so none of the money really went to support her, I guess, but probably going to throw that out soon. Oh, well, problematic fave shadows. But honestly, if you want a dupe of the urban decay neon palette the laura lee party animal or whatever it's called is the next best thing the colors are extremely similar which is very ironic that she didn't really make an original palette just saying but i digress so i'm primarily using in my uh green yellow eye i'm actually mixing the neon uh, lime green with the yellow just to give it more of a yellow tinge and the pink is just all that pink I'm also mixing the pink with a little bit of the orange from the palette when I sound more professional if I use the color names but I digress we're going in here and you know I had the reference photo on my computer my phone this whole time I did this let me tell you what let me tell you what that's how you do it you just have that reference photo and you just blend you just fucking blend oh girl Girl, my mom's gonna be so mad I'm cursing so much. I'm sorry, mom. But anywho, here we are, blending yet again. I like to blend in short little circular motions just to give it a nice flare out. Oh, here's my favorite eyeshadow ever of all time. It's Kimchi by Sugar Pill. I will never not recommend this eyeshadow. And I think they actually reformulated it too, but I'm not 100% sure. I will just say that it's a great eyeshadow but the newer ones look a tad darker, but it's still awesome. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and make my eyeballs even bigger by doing some black around my eye with just a black shadow. It's Bulletproof by Sugar Pill again. And I'm just popping it on there with a liner brush and then blending it out so it has a nice smoky effect. I'm going to go back in there with a liquid eyeliner just to help add a sheen to the eyeliner. Since I do have some cheaper liquid eyeliners that actually have a bit of a latex look to them, which is really cool. Thank you, NYX. Okay, moving on here. I'm actually not going to contour my chin because the dolls that I am referencing this to, uh, Melancholy Dollies, Melancholy Dollies, oh, God, that's fun to say, um, they have a much rounder face. So I actually was like really excited. I'm like, hey, yo, me too. Wow, I am still blending. God. You know, everyone's like, how long do you normally take with your makeup? And I'm all, I always lie and say an hour, which is fully not the truth. I am like a two hour singing and dancing, you know, dinner and a show with a halftime break for snacks kind of ordeal when I do my makeup. She's a journey. But here we go. Blending some more. I'm adding a few extra details. I had like five reference photos up and I just kept looking at every little crevice and decided to add more color because it just wasn't enough. Oh, hello. She's going to do that creepy thing where she looks up the camera and cocks her head to the left. How original. Here's the fun part though. I took that black eyeshadow from earlier and I started edging it around my lips to give that little bit of a lollipop lip effect. And then I end up going in with Sugar Pill Zero Lipstick. Now I'm going to be real with you guys. Normally I hardcore, you know, preach about Sugar Pill. They're my favorite company. But this lipstick, it's kind of a bit to put on. I'm not a huge fan of it. Their liquid lipstick is fabulous, but the cream lipstick of the black color, not my favorite. But again, I'm like a diehard sugar pill fan and I still will always buy their stuff, but I just want to have full discretion that their lipstick's not great. Like watch how much I have to streak this on. And I wiped my lips down and still had black eyeshadow on it, so it should not have been this hard to get black lips, like honestly. But I still love their products and I still use this black lipstick, but I would recommend if you want a black lipstick, I would go a liquid matte lipstick route rather than a cream lipstick. Just so you get like a more even coverage and it doesn't get all over your teeth and yada yada yada. Oh, there she is. Oh, little lipstick. Hello, who is she? I seriously don't know her. Okay, now we're just going to move into blending out about the lips a bit here and there and adding a little bit of dimension in the eye socket with the black shadow. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm supposed to be painting for the camera, but I'm painting fully at the bottom of the screen and I apologize greatly. But it's okay, because you know what? It's like my, what, third video? I'm trying, y'all. I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna get better for y'all, and I'm gonna be more entertaining for y'all, and we're just gonna go on this journey of YouTube together. You know, I'm an Instagram person. Usually, I don't talk. I just stand there and take the photo. So this is a whole new experience for all of us. So thank you for watching. And if you get to this point in the video and you don't like click off, leave like a bunch of alien and robot emojis in the comments. Thank you. Oh, here are my eyelashes that I never take care of. I love all of my eyelashes so much. I'm just kidding, I do take care of them. So I'm actually using a very cheap uh, drugstore lash for my bottom lash. They're kind of these Dolly Wispy lashes and I get like three every time I buy them and they're my bottom lashes. They're not fancy at all. And the top lashes I'm using are two sugar pill stacked lashes. You can see, they're stacked and they're awesome and I wear those all the time together. And again, sugar pill has discontinued a lot of their lashes so if you see any of their unique specialty ones, definitely go pick them up because they will not be around for much longer. Which breaks my heart because they were like seven dollars. But I digress. So as you can see here, I just stick those suckers on there with a pair of tweezers. I'm using a Stephora, just the Stephora brand uh, lash glue because it's got a little bit of a tackiness to it. Much like me, I'm quite tacky, I, I digress. But <laughs> I'm like a white dad. Anywho, it's a little tacky so it sticks really nicely and it reapplies really great. And it also doesn't leave any colorations on your lid either. So I'm using this new uh, setting spray that's for make costume and I much prefer it. I'm going to leave a link to it down below 
because I think everyone needs to try this setting spray at least once. It smells terrible, but oh my god, trust me. So I'm wearing my really cute um, Pearl Pearl Sparkles Japan LA sweater. I live in this sweater. It's my favorite thing ever. And then this wig is from Epic Cosplay Wigs, and it's actually, I have the clip, the ponytail clip with it, and it is pre-styled and not pre-styled. I styled it and I cut it. So we're accessorizing with some six doki doki and some glasses I got off Amazon. And there she is. Oh, 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 who is she? She's spooky. Oh, her stomach's upset. Oh, oh, someone call it dentist. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. And thanks for bearing with me.